this is another game which is old very old uh, 1610 so let's see this game uh, this game is played between Gio, Gio, Leo, Cesare, Polerio, Domenico, Di Arminio. So this was, these are the names. It was played in uh, Rome, Polerio, Rome in 1610. 1610, quite old. White starts with E4, black plays E5. Knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, knight f6, two knight defense, knight g5, threatening f7, d5, stopping the attack, e cross or d5, capturing it, knight has to move and he captures this. So knight cross d5 and here comes this, knight cross f7, good move, okay. So king cross f7. So from there, they know this variation from that 1610. Queen f3, very old variation that means. And now if you move behind, you're losing the knight. So to save the knight, you have to go here. King e6. And then knight c3, one more attack. Three attack, two supports. How to save it? One option. Knight c7. And then you have to now open the center to attack the king. So d4 opening the bishop. Attacking the thing, attacking the pawn, which is, you know, guarding the king. C6, giving one more support. Bishop G5, pinning the knight. So one support is less, you can say, uh, to this knight on D5. Okay, because uh, if you see this is pinned, then the problem is over here. Okay, this is in trouble. Right now, there are three attack, one, two. If you can't count this, then only two support. So let's see. H6. Attacking the bishop, he says, okay, I'll take it, bishop cross e7, bishop cross e7, and then long castle. So white is preparing to attack on this king very, very uh, good uh, with all the pieces. Rook f8, attacking the queen, queen has to be moved, saved. So queen e4, and then he captures this, rook cross f2, not so great, I would say. He should think about how to get the pieces out and how to save this or... Uh, how to get the king inside. These are the three things we should think. Uh, but the problem is he can't do anything. Okay, he can't save the king, he can't get it inside, he can't save the knight, he can't give another support, and he can't develop the pieces as well. So all these problems are there, and that's why he said, okay, whatever I can, I will. And he said, okay, I'm getting a pawn free, let's just take it. So he took it. Now D cross E5. Okay, you just have to open the king somehow. So for that. Exchanging the pawn is a very good idea. That's what he's doing. Bishop g5 check and king b1. Okay, just need to just uh, be safe. That's it. You don't need to do anything complicated or uh, different. Just play simple. After king b1, then what to do? He says, okay, let me get rid of this rook's attack because this is dangerous. So rook d2, he wants to exchange. He says, okay, you want to exchange? You exchange. I'm not going to exchange because if I take your piece is coming there and you're making attack on my another piece. I don't want that. Instead, if you take it, I will get my piece out, okay, which was doing nothing here and it will attack. So I'm happy with that. So, and if you don't do that, I'm going to take this. And if you move the bishop back, then I'm getting this rook for free. So these are the threats. And that's why he has to take it. So rook cross d1, rook cross d1, and then bishop cross h4. But now there are more attacks on d5 than the supports. So the d5 knight is weak. How many attacks you can count? One, two, three, four attacks. And only one, two, three supports. So that's a big, big problem. What to do? Take advantage. Knight cross d5, c cross d5. And now you have a choice to take with the bishop and give direct check or to give a threat, indirect threat, which is dangerous than direct threat. So, rook cross or d5, the threat is to move the rook and give a discovered attack on the king. Plus, there is attack on the queen. Queen has to move. He moved the queen over here where it will be safer from this rook. Otherwise, the rook can go somewhere and attack on the queen. Now, he cannot capture his own rook. I mean, own pawn with the rook. So, uh, what to do? Rook d6 check. After queen g5, rook d6 check. King e7. And then here we go. We are attacking the queen. So rook g6, 
attack on the queen. Queen is going towards this king. He wants to do checkmate over here, but he has no time to do that. Before that, white is going to finish the game. So rook cross g7, king f8, rook g8 check. You can't take it. Support is there. So the king has to move. The only move is this. And the queen h7 checkmate. Okay, there is a checkmate. So that's it. It was a very good game, a very attacking game. In 1610, yeah, we can see such a good game.